So I just got off a call with a group of people and one of the men on the call, a guy in his 20s, mid 20s, is talking about how his girlfriend just got pregnant and they're not sure if they're gonna keep the baby and she's waiting on him to tell her what she should do, if she should keep the baby or not. And I'm just, I'm not saying this to be judgmental of anybody who's going through this or anybody who's already had abortions, but I just want to talk about this um, because of a recent video I made about worshiping men. This is yet again another situation where women are worshiping men, okay? These two are having sex, this girl gets pregnant, and now she's worshiping him so much that she's looking to him to make the decision as to whether or not she keeps her baby. And this is not the first time she's had an abortion. This has already happened before. And I mean, just think about that, right? Having sex, getting pregnant, and then letting the man decide if it's convenient for him. Okay, this guy was talking about it's not really a good time to have a baby right now because I'm having dental work done. Like, what kind of reason is that? Oh, you know, I think I'm just going to kill this baby because I'm kind of in the middle of having dental work done. And then he said something about his grandmother's really old right now, and he's like, you know, they might have to have a funeral for her soon. So this year is not a good year to have a baby, but maybe another year. So we'll just, we'll just throw this baby away in the garbage and we'll just keep having sex every single month and every single year. And all of the years that it's not convenient, we'll just kill all those ones. But then if there is a convenient year where, you know, my girlfriend gets pregnant, I, Again, we'll just keep that one when it's convenient for me. I mean, if this is not worshiping men, I don't know what is. This is pretty much saying that the man's sexual needs are so important that it's totally okay for a bunch of his babies to die. And it's totally okay for his girlfriend to keep going through abortions over and over and over and over. It's totally okay for her body to be subjected to all that trauma. It's totally okay for her to grieve the loss of her unborn children multiple times over and over and over again, all because, well, the king is having dental work, okay? It's not convenient for him right now. Uh, this year, he might have to have a funeral for his grandmother. So it's not, you know, it doesn't really work into his schedule to have a funeral and a baby in the same year. So we'll just hang around and keep destroying our reproductive system by getting pregnant over and over and having abortions over and over, putting ourselves at risk for death by having too many abortions and also put ourselves at risk for having a whole bunch of scar tissue in our fallopian tubes that'll probably lead to infertility later on when, you know, we do want to have some kids. But no, all this is okay because, you know, it's all for him. You know, it's all about his convenience. And of course, we can't just say, well, how about this option, okay? Why can't the option be, Men just don't get to have sex until they're fully ready and willing to be fathers. That's the only time they're allowed to have sex, when they are damn ready to be fathers right now. Why does nobody want to put that boundary in place? Why is everybody so afraid to put that rule in place? Why is that not even a thought. Why is nobody even saying that out loud? Why? Because we're too damn busy worshiping men and making everything convenient for their sexuality. Okay. For some reason, it's completely inhumane to deprive a man of sex. No, no, no. We can't you know, make his life sexless. We can't give him relationships without sex. He'll die. That's not right. You can't let this poor man go without sex for months or maybe even years. 
until he has all his shit together and until he's done with his dental work and until he's done with his grandmother's funeral and whatever else he thinks should come first. God, we can't make him go without sex for all that time. That's completely inhumane. But you know what is humane? It's totally humane for us to just go kill all these babies, okay? For some reason, that's humane. And you know what else is humane? Putting a 21-year-old girl through multiple abortions. So that's totally humane. I mean, who cares about her? Who cares about her fertility? Who cares about her mental health? Who cares about her fucking spirit or her soul? I mean, that's totally humane to put her through all that. And it's totally humane to just keep sucking all these babies out of her uterus and throwing them in trash cans behind abortion clinics. That's totally humane. But you know what's not humane? Letting a man go without sex. Telling a man he can't have sex right now. Cutting him off to your vagina. That is completely inhumane. And we must get on our knees and worship these men and give them whatever they want sexually. And then let them decide. Let's let them decide when it's convenient for them to be fathers. Okay? We'll just let them have all the sex they want. You know, we'll do our best not to get pregnant, but you know what? Shit happens. And for all of those times that shit just happens and we still get pregnant anyway, well, we'll just kill the babies and we'll destroy our own reproductive systems being pumped up on birth control. And when that doesn't work, we'll just destroy our reproductive systems even more by having multiple abortions. All for the sake of men, because we love men so much so, so much. We worship them and we love them and we love them so much. We kill our babies for them. We destroy our own bodies for them. We destroy our own minds and our own souls. And all the while, we don't even ask them to pay our bills because you know what? If we did that, then we'd be whores and prostitutes and we don't want that. We just want to be fucking murderers. (laughs) Ladies, stop worshiping men. This is so effing sick. And I don't care who's offended by this video. I really don't care. I'm saying the goddamn truth. Stop worshiping men. Having these abortions, one, being on birth control for these men is worshiping men. Having abortions for these men is worshiping men. And even having sex with these men that don't fucking deserve to have sex with you. They're not doing anything that makes them deserving of your sex. They should not be all up in your reproductive system making babies that they're not ready to be fathers to. They don't even deserve to be there in the first place. Stop worshiping them. Fucking them, being on birth control for them, and having abortions for them is all just another way to worship these men. They don't deserve all that worship. They are not freaking gods. You are worshiping a false god. You're worshiping a false god. He's not God. Stop worshiping him. Stop making sacrifices for him. Stop sacrificing your children for him. Stop sacrificing your fertility and your sanity and your mental health for him. Stop it. Cut it out. That's bullshit. These men aren't even going to be around next year anyway. The only reason they'll be around next year is if you're still freaking financially supporting them, then they'll probably still be around.